Foreign Secretary Mohammad Cyrus Sajad Qazi is in Cameroon today, where he is leading the Pakistan delegation at the 50th session of OIC Council of Foreign Ministers. At the CFM, the Foreign Secretary will share Pakistan's perspective on the ongoing genocide in Gaza and the dire humanitarian situation there, Israel's adventurism in the region that is threatening peace in the Middle East, and the right to self-determination of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. He will also underline the imperatives of solidarity and unity of the Ummah, rising Islamophobia and xenophobia in the various parts of the world, issues of climate change, terrorism, and other contemporary global challenges. The eighth session of Pakistan Oman bilateral political consultations were, were, was held in Muscat, Oman earlier this week. The talks were co-chaired by additional Foreign Secretary Ambassador Shahriyar Akbar Khan and Ambassador Sheikh Ahmed bin Hashil bin Rashid Al Maskari, the Chief of GCC and Regional Neighborhood Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Sultanate of Oman. <clears throat> the two sides comprehensively reviewed all aspects of bilateral cooperation between Pakistan and Oman, including political relations, trade and investment, security and defense, culture, health, and consular matters. Pakistan-Oman cooperation at multilateral fora and regional and global matters of mutual concern were, were also discussed. The two sides also expressed serious concerns on Israel's war on Gaza and the genocide of the Palestinian people. They stressed the need for an urgent and unconditional ceasefire and reiterated the call for the creation of a viable, sovereign, and contiguous Palestinian state. Speaker of the National Assembly of Pakistan, Sardar Ayaz Sadiq, led a parliamentary delegation on an official visit to Belarus from August 19 to 22 at the invitation of the Chairman of the House of Representatives of Belarus. In Minsk, the Speaker held meetings with President Lukashenko, Chairman of the House of Representatives, Chairperson of the Council of uh, the Republic of Belarus, and the Minister for Agriculture. The two sides reaffirmed commitment to expanding bilateral relations and enhance parliamentary exchanges and people-to-people -people contacts. The two sides will continue to enhance bilateral cooperation across various sectors, including agriculture, industry, education, and culture, with a particular focus on increasing bilateral trade. Pakistan strongly condemns the bombing of the historic Grand Mosque in Khan Yunus, Gaza, by the Israeli occupation forces. This attack is a grievous assault on a place of deep cultural and religious significance. It also constitutes a clear violation of international law. Targeting of religious sites is expressly prohibited under the 1954 Hague Convention for the protection of cultural property in the event of armed conflict. Pakistan also expresses its grave concern and unequivocal condemnation of the recent large-scale military incursion conducted by Israeli occupation forces in the northern part of the occupied West Bank. This attack is another blatant violation of international law, including the Fourth Geneva Convention, which prohibits indiscriminate targeting of civilians in occupied territories. Repeated Israeli transgressions and the use of disproportionate force, including airstrikes and drone attacks on densely populated areas, also contravene the principles of distinction and proportionalities as enshrined in the international humanitarian law. We call on the UN Security Council to take urgent and concrete measures to end these blatant violations of international law and the UN Charter, protect the Palestinian people, and hold Israel accountable for its egregious violations of international humanitarian law and the genocide and war crimes in Gaza. The third 
death anniversary of the iconic Kashmiri leader Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani will be observed on 1st of September 2024. He breathed his last in a long drawn house arrest on 1st of September 2021. Notwithstanding tremendous hardships, his unwavering commitment to the Palestinian people's right to self-determination was matchless. Sayyid Ali Gilani was a true voice of the Kashmiri struggle for self-determination. We pay rich tribute to his long life of struggle for justice and freedom and honor his memory. We also reaffirm our commitment to political, diplomatic, and moral support to our Kashmiri brothers and sisters for the just and peaceful settlement of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions.